I was hearing myself. <laughs> How's it going? Hello Jeanette and Lewis. Hello Beverly. Hello Nadia. Hello Leticia. Lori Clark. Lynn Bylis. Charlotte. Balloonist. All the cool people are here. Of course Sophie's here. Sophie's here. Aren't you? Aren't you? The star of the show. Sophie Lowe. You know, come on. Come on. If you're going to give it some effort. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Hi. Hi. So, yes. Hi everybody. Look. It's Sophie's halo. <laughs> She's such an angel. <laughs> thank, thank you, uh, Bondi Park uh, Dad. Uh, I made him um, spring rolls for breakfast. <laughs> uh, I made sure there was something warm for him for lunch, and we're making quesadillas for dinner. So, do, do, do. hey, Jill Odell, Florence, lurking and working. <laughs> uh, lurkers are awesome. It's a number plus one. It's uh, that's 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 awesome. That's good. That's good. So uh, what we're doing today, for yes, it is today is Marcus's birthday, and I did uh, after cross stitch uh, Thursday because we did cross stitch Thursday yesterday because Tuesday was my fusion. Um, uh, I went in and I made him his uh, cheesecake, his birthday cheesecake, and his um, whipped shortbread that he asked for. So need to take the rhino for a walk. <laughs> He's got a vet appointment at three. Need to tire him out. Yeah, I bet just to kind of chill him out a little bit. Hello, no, Suzanne Taylor. Good afternoon, hello everyone, and Sophie. <laughs> Thank you for joining. Thank you, Tracy Albert and Catherine. Very nice. Thanks, everybody. How's Lois today? Hey, Whiskey Sarcasm over on Twitch. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Yes, thank you. thank you for all the happy birthday wishes to Marcus. I told him he can he, he I wrapped his um his his dragon that the remember the stitchy thingy the FPP and uh, his uh, top hat and he was very happy, very happy with his top hat. I mean, yeah, I put it at the top of the stairs all wrapped because I wasn't sure if I, um what his plans were for lunch. So uh, yeah, he sat with us and opened it up and yeah so. I made him the top hat and then uh, like a mug rug as well because that was like the inner part of the hat. Like, just makes sense, right? Um, so the mug rug to match. And then uh, Miss Nadine sent a cute uh, pizza puzzle. So I wrapped that up and said it was from Nadine. So <laughs> he was very pleased to have that too. He was like, oh, wow. So, so yeah, so Miss Nadine gave him a pizza puzzle. <laughs> um, and uh, hold on, what else is there? Da, 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 da. Uh, the top hat, the dragon, the mug rug, the pizza puzzle. Oh, and then uh, when Pop and I were in the big, big city, Truro, um, Nova Scotia, on Tuesday for my uh, infusion, uh, we went and stopped by the Mark's Work Warehouse and uh, found him some nice uh, slip-on runners. So really nice. And Pop likes them too. They actually have like air support. So, or like arch support, sorry. Air support. They're not Air Jordans. <laughs> Hello, Comedy Quilter. Hello, Leticia. Hello, June. What's up? What's going on, everybody? We're like popping in now. 
Howdy, y'all. It's practically creative. What's going on? Yes, thank you for all the happy birthday wishes to Marcus. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? That's what Charlie she thinks it is. Okay, you pick that up so people can see. And then you show them right here. You show them right here what that is. So they know what's hap what's happening. You tell them what time it is. Come here. Come here. Sophie. Show me. Show me what that is. Show, show them. Show them what time it is. Are you paying attention? Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Up up. Okay. You, you show them what time it is. Okay? That's what time it is. <laughs> She's like, listen, lady, we get to the regular scheduled program. <laughs> the big city. Yeah, the big, big city. <laughs> thank you, Polly and Prue. Thank you for all the happy birthday wishes to Marcus. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. So, what we have going on here today is something a little different. Uh, something I've never done. Something I think I have the tools. Uh, I have some macrame yarn some uh nylon pink glow in the thing i have some wire i have some leather strap i have some buttons i have some beads i have some wood toggly boggly thingies i have some duct tape because you can't go anywhere without duct tape and glue and i got some glue uh and of course the star of the show is some of i don't, these are not all my goodness my mother had a lot uh of um her silver spoons and i didn't i hadn't emptied the the star because it came in the star right um i had emptied it and i realized there was like a pie server kind of wedged in there <laughs> i'm like hmm the handle's been busticated so uh I, I think we'll incorporate that a little bit in there why not she does she does june <laughs> yeah right charlie she's like <laughs> yeah we did a little bit we did about half an hour ago as soon as the alarm went off for the 30 minutes i went in to make a, a tea and on the way back in and out yeah right duct tape is a requirement um i i made sure to like kick the ball and toss it a few times and stuff like that but she still thinks you know what time it is <laughs> yeah so we have a few few things here i'll go actually in the overhead so you can see if you guys want to see i mean uh these these have been collected like for like decades uh, and I know this is not all of them, that's for sure. So there's some I will not be putting it like this. That's not going in there, right? So it's just it, it's just the way it is, you know. I'd rather keep that the way it is, that one, okay. This one, oops, sorry. That's gonna keep, this one's gonna go. I'm keeping it all, but I'm just making something out of the, the bits and bobs, right? So that will put in, this looks like a letter opener. I might need my goggles for this. Does anybody use those openers anymore? Um, something springs. Radium. Radium Hot Springs, British Columbia. Uh, can you see that there? It's kind of cute. Yeah, so this is going to be a bit of a, a memory lane for me and picking to choose. And this is just too pretty. That, that's from Manitoba. I was born in Portage the Prairie, Manitoba. So that's definitely, those are definitely going off to the side here. Okay. Um, this one here, it's got the praying hands. I think that could go into the, the wind chimey thingamabob. I, and she had such a collection, and I'm, I swear these were like so, so many, so many. Of, this one is kind of funky. I, I'm, I'm a little on the fence on this one. This is Cam Loops. Cam Loops, uh, something. Looks like a little fish. Cam Loops BC, but there's something like Okanami, Okanama. Well, that's kind of, I, I think, I think I'm going to put that over there. It would be a neat center of the wind chime. What, this, the pie? The pie server? Because it would definitely be the tingity tong of all the bing -de bongs right? So, <laughs> if that made any sense. Here, let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, there's this one here. It's got like a little train or, yeah, I swear it's train. That can go because, you know, that's kind of cool. This one lost its little bob, but it does say Japan, and I did find some bobs in the bottom, okay? This one says Michigan. It's got cute little deer. Isn't that cute little deer? Oh, and the little spoon is engraved there with... Um, oh, it looks like uh, how it's surrounded by the lake. Okay. 
Manitoba and the Crocus Spoon Butterfield. Yeah, is that what that is? Is that the Crocus? Oh, yeah, okay. Now that I look at it. Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you. Yeah, that's a beautiful Crocus. So those are, yeah, I don't think, it, those are like a lot of dangly. I'd rather keep those little dangly bits. You know what I mean? This one, it's got a pineapple. Hawaii. Hawaii, Hawaii. <laughs> that's super cute. Uh, this one also lost his little bibbidi bobs, so we'll check. We'll check those out. I do have some glue. That's another one that's lost its bibbidi bobs. If I can't find the bibbidi bobs, here's one. It's just totally pineapple. That's just totally pineapple. That's gonna stay over on 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 the over over that maybe used. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Where's this from? Mallorca, España. Oh, it's Spain. I'm assuming. Okay, hold on. Somebody Google this. M A L L U R C A Malora Malorca Malora I don't even know where that's from. That's that is pretty. Oh, you can't focus on that. Come on. Come on. That was very pretty. It says Espana on there. E S P A N A. So I'm assuming very it's Spain. I like that. Let's put that over there. It's always one of the places she wanted to go. This one is so war. I don't even know what that is. Hold on. 1980. Uh, I honestly can't tell what the heck is written on there or stamped on there. Uh, Union. 1980 Union. Uh, okay, you go there. And what's this one? Bricks ham? Looks like it's got a little like a uni unicorn or something in the center. Bricks ham. I'm not even sure where Bricks ham is. I'm sure some of these are silver. I would say definitely silver on some of these things. Uh, hold on. Oh, thank you. Doo, 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 doo. I love the pineapple spoon, right? Right? Hey, Sherlock Sue's. We're just going through some of the, the spoons in my uh, my mom's box here. Uh, double L's are pronounced as Y's. Oh, okay, because it said, yeah, with the LL, right? So, my, okay, so it was my. Mm -mm. Hello, Deborah Holdman. How you doing? Hello, Linda Lindsay. Okay, well, that's cool. That's cool. This one with the cute little shoe. Shoe for you and shoe for me. <laughs> I don't, I don't want that get that looks like it's pretty glued on there pretty darn good but just in case I think that's probably one I, I wouldn't mind trying to try to keep keep so okay. this one Colorado that's a pretty that's a pretty little flower anybody here from Colorado what's that say I should have brought my magnifying glass the continental state the centennial state what is Colorado? It's something, it's something state. It starts with the C. I I think it's, uh, it's hard to say. Something until. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Silver spoon should have a mark on them. Yeah. Well, that one says Japan. That's probably not. So, oh, what, what was that? There's something on here stamped. Colorado. Colorado Springs. Mesta National Park, Mesta Versi National Park. That's kind of cool. Okay, put that in the, the lead shine. This is a thick one here. Steinbeck, Canada. Ooh, that's got some really funky symbols on that one. Look at the little bird, like the bird eagle there. Oh, like the little symbol in the ceiling. That's pretty. Hey, Mommy is a fan. We're going through some of my mom's spoons. She uh, passed away four years ago today. It's also uh, our son's birthday. That says PEI. So she's got spoons with little lobster on it from Prince Edward Island. 
I think we'll put that in there too. This one is Crocus Manitoba. Okay, we'll put this Crocus in here. Okay. This one, I think it's just a silver spoon, so we're going to keep, keep that one there. This, oh, this one got cute little bells with the weddings. Yeah, we'll stick that in there. Do, do, do. Says Alberta Wild Rose. Colorado has been nicknamed the Centennial. Okay, it did say Centennial. It was kind of hard to say that. So. Spent one and a half hours trying to find a manual for my baby lock. Oh my goodness! Where, where can you just look online? Uh, isn't Steinbeck in Man Maybe, maybe. It just said Steinbeck's Manitoba. Or no, no, just Steinbeck Canada, wasn't it? That that said? Yeah. I, don't know. I love the symbols on that, though. Like, that looks so beautiful. And Manitoba is my home province. Like, that's where I was born, so. Yeah, but I love the little design on the spoons there. It's kind of like, at, you know, very, very um, native, right? Yes, they are, and I'm happy to make uh, something out of them, like, you know, because, like, this is just, this is just a tiny chunk of what she had, so, and I, I'm glad my sister Elizabeth split them up, so, and I make, and they've been in a box for three years, I've had them for about three years now, um, and they're just in a, and I'm like, I'm making a wind chime, darn it, I'm making a wind chime, oh, here's a dolphin, oh, not a dolphin, that's a killer whale, that's a killer whale. I knew I should have brought a mine for a glass. I don't even know where one is. Uh, Vancouver Public Aquarium. Okay, that can go in the hangy thingy. Ooh, what's this one? Whoa, that's that's fancy, McPancy. It's even got some wood bits. Uh, I have no idea where that's from, but it's hefty. Like, it's got some weight on that one. Look at the design on it. Can you see that? Hey, Janice. How you doing? Welcome. Hey, Andrew Prue. Hello, Ip Green. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, everybody, for the hugs. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a tough day, but it's a day for celebration. That doesn't feel like anything at all. So we'll let go in there. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. Oh, it's his mother. Oh, okay, that's going in there. Uh, this uh, Washington has lost his little nub nub, but we'll we'll put those there because we do have a couple that have some. Uh, Northwest Territories Yellow Knife. Northwest Territories. Very pretty. How 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 can you guys see that any closer? Yeah, there's go. That's pretty. Here, I want to show you the rose one. That's really nice. Come on, focus. Focus. Come on. Uh, it's got some nice detail on it. I don't know why I won't focus on it. Anyways. <laughs> They're going to make some noise outside. Oh, here's another one. That's definitely, would, definitely would be silver on that one for sure. It's also lost its little nubby. So. Uh, White Rock, BC. That's a good place. My sister scoop, Elizabeth scooped ice cream there for a couple summers, and I helped, for one, make waffles. I wasn't ready to be a scooper. I could only make the waffles. <laughs> the waffle coats. <laughs> uh, that's also, I would say, uh, a silver one. This Expo 86, and I went to Expo 86 with my school, and I brought this one back to her. That's the one I, when I was 15 years old, I guess, no, actually, the time I would have been 14, because I turned 15 later in the year. I was 14, we went as a school trip from Calgary to uh, Vancouver, and we went to Expo 86 and got our little class passports all stamped up and had fun, and that was the, my first time on a plane. It was so cool. We were gone all day because we flew there and back in the same day. 
It was a class trip. Yeah, and I'm, I got her that. I was so happy to see that in the bucket. I was so happy. So, ah, yeah. That's going to get hung up. Oh, here's a couple other ones. Oh, that's, oh, that is so cute. That is a lovely little dainty spoon. I love that. That one. Hey, that could be my, like, little sugar spoon. I would think, I think that would be a nice little sugar spoon. Yeah, I figured the really tarnished ones were, were the silver ones. This one just says Canada. Doesn't really say from where. Silver plated, actually. It says on the back here. Silver plated. Okay. Put that in. Ooh. Ooh, look at that bling, baby. What, what? My mama had some bling. <laughs> How cute. That just says May. So that would have been for her birthstone. So I don't, uh, I don't think I want that getting it's not like it's real or anything so yeah it's a uh, daughter yes that's that's one of the blue ones. just trying to determine what's getting hung and what I'm kind of keeping oh that's that's a neat little flatness to the spoon I've never seen a spoon like that before has anybody seen a spoon it's like flat not normally like rounded this one, yeah, it looks like a bit of a baby. Maybe it was our baby spoon. That now that you you think about it, uh, I or it could have been hers. It could have been her baby spoon. I have no idea. My grandparents spit all the decorative spoons three ways, and I have some both in my yeah. Oh, nice. This this all that I I have a, like. Um, I'm glad I got what I got though. I mean, because I've got connection to some of these places, Switzerland from my girlfriend Sandra, the, the, you know, and her her family, right? It is it is her birthstone there, Sister Lisa. Right. Yeah, but uh, this one's a little unique one. I kind of, I kind of like that. That's funky. Uh, this one here, Jamaica, Jamaica, a little tiny Jamaica spoon, <laughs> medicine spoon, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, if you would think you would have to open the bottle, lay it flat to. Well, it's not quite flat, but you know what I mean. Like if you had it, it it does sit pretty flat, flat though. Yeah. How's Sister Lisa today? Uh, they might be worth some money, but it, it's worth more to me to just hang them up. Or do you want to put holes? I'm not putting holes on anything, Denise. I am not drilling a thing. I have wire, and I have string, and I have the desire to make something nice. I'm just going to wrap it. I'm just wrapping. I'm just wrapping. Jamaica, you like that one? You like that? No, these are the, hold on, where'd it go? Where'd it go? I just had it. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Did I put it back in the box? Oh, I did. I was so excited to put it back in the box. <laughs> it's really cute. Hold on. Focus. Come on, focus. It is such a tiny little spoon, though. Come on. Oh, it's so irritating with the cameras. Oh, well. Okay, it is super cute, though. Oh, there we go. There we can see a little bit. So what's depicted on it? It looks like someone with their arms in the air and their legs jumped up too, like they're they're like jumping for joy. On the beach, it looks like. <laughs> okay, we'll put that in there. This one also lost his little nub. There's a few, of them, but I know there's only a couple little bits in the bottom. Oh, some buttons. Uh, McAllister? I don't know. I don't know any. Do anybody recognize that symbol of McAllister? Good, quiet at the office today, so I came to hang out. I'm happy you did, Sister Lisa. The considering we're honoring Mom today. Yes, Marcus's birthday, but also unfortunately the 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 death of our mom. It seems like yesterday, and yet it seems like forever ago. It's only been four years, so that's kind of cool. I don't know what that is, but. Okay, uh, oh, Trana, Canada Trana, we'll put that over here, ooh, this one's funky, <gasps> Mexico, hey, that is cool, I like that, that looks like a lion's head, no, maybe not, I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell, it looks like it's got a wing, but... Oh, no, I can see it's a bird. And then I see the little claws there and then the back tail feathers. It could be an eagle. Does Mexico have uh, their symbol as an eagle? Hmm. 
Mm -mm. I have a spoon just like that as a spreader spoon? Spreader spoon. Oh, yeah. There we go. Like the butter or the jam or like, you know. Yeah, she collected bells too. Yeah, I didn't get any of the bells. Uh, I think, thank you, uh, Elisa. I will pass on the love to Marcus to wish him a happy birthday. I've already made his cheesecake and I uh, cookies yesterday, so if he wanted it for breakfast, he could have it. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the eagle is a uh, part of the Mexican, um, uh, Mexico, uh, probably on their flag or something, right? I really like all the details in the scoop, though. Look at that. Like, that's amazing. Look how cool that is. Sorry, I'm fat fingers are in the way. Oh, such beautiful, such beautifulness. I thought I had some. Uh, this obviously lost its thing, but it says uh, Barksville, British Columbia. So we'll put that over there. Yeah, I'm not poking any of these. I'm just going to wrap. Oh, here's another one. It definitely looks like from Mexico. Pa Port Vallarta. There we go. Val Valiarta for P V A L. A R T A, Puerto Vallarta. Is that how you say it? There we go. That's kind of cool too. Look at the little head on there. Neat. Ooh, a fork! It's their first fork. Uh, Calgary, <laughs> Calgary, Canada. That's funny. All right, you're going into pile. Oh, Seattle, Washington. There we go. That's definitely a silver one. That's pretty. Like that little, little Seattle, Washington there. Uh, let's see if it would focus on it now. Nope. Nope. No. Okay. Well, this one's got a little H for Heritage Park. I was going to say Heritage Park because that looks like the big H in front of Heritage Park in Calgary. The little symbol. It's got a big axe in it. It's actually quite a nice little historical event. One of our cousins got married there. I think it was Cousin Heather. Uh, Alberta Rose. Another nice Alberta Rose one. Of course, I would have a lot for Canada because we are Canadian. That's definitely just a silver spoon there. Uh, that says Oneida, Canada. So I will put that up on there. Uh, this one says Alberta, uh, Edmonton. There we go. Where's Miss Valerie? <laughs> uh, this one, Olympic Saddle Dome. Okay, that would be for Calgary. There. Ooh, whoa. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the Universal Studios California one. That's hefty, too. That has some serious weight to it, and it's it's lost a lot of its bling. It's only got, like, two little bling here. The rest of the blingies are kind of gone, so... That just thing has a pretty weight to it. Yeah, I would say that was like plated of some sort. Yeah, that's exactly why I would love to hear it, right? I just, I, and I don't really want to just sit over like a window, though I do may do some with the ones I want to keep in the house, like the little pineapple one, the one with the shoe and stuff like that, and the other little bits. I may do something for the house like that, right? And so I have them in both places. You know, those are cute. Where She must have had a collection of these for something. I wish I could. 75 years. Um, whatever it was, 75 years. Uh, Trillium, uh, Ontario. Oh, interesting. I, I, maybe I got her that when we first moved to Ontario. I don't know. Wherever we, we traveled, I tried to pick her up a spoon from and We traveled a few spots. Um, Lake Louise, Alberta. Very nice. Bringing in the memories there. Oh, this one kind of looks like a little chime for a... Oh, that's another one from Mexico. She got a few for those. Definitely. I think that one I might probably keep in the house now that we had like two or three. Oh, another fork. Alberta Wild Rose. Okay, a little ring and only two of the little things here. So we got Olympic, Saddle Dome, and Manitoba. Okay, so... There, um, maybe here? No, there's no way that's fitting there. Okay, so we'll put that one there. So if we can't find, I'm going to say maybe that one. Because that kind of looked like the first, there we go. I'd say Bob's your uncle on that one. 
And uh, this one, this, I think, I don't think this actually goes to any of those. I think it actually is a, maybe a pin, like a, like a shirt pin. What do we think? Yeah, I think it's like one of those. It just lost its bobs on the end. Yeah. Oh, thimbles. That's cute. By Arta. Yeah, is that how it's at VY? Maybe, maybe that's how it was spelled, but it was just because the way it was, uh, Porta by Arta. West Coast of Mexico. Some beautiful spoons. Does pot play with bathe the spoon? No, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, L -L Google says the flat spoon is Korean and used with a pair of chopsticks. It's used to push food onto the spoon, which is made easier due to the platform. Yeah, that's totally cool. I really like that one. I really I was like, oh, it's a funky spoon. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. <laughs> I'm learning something new every day. Oh. Want to collect the spoons and bells? Too? Yeah, maybe they were spoons and bells collectors. So these ones that don't have anything on them that lost their label somewhere along their journey, uh, I'm also just going to put into the wind chime. Okay? So there's only a few, a handful of the ones that I'm going to keep and put in the house. Okay. One is the letter opener. I think I might just keep that out here. It's a Radium Hot Springs, British Columbia. And then, of course, we have to have the pineapple one. But there is another pineapple one. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Okay, we have to put one in the... This one's from Hawaii. That one's just a pineapple. I don't know. I think we're just keeping them both. <laughs> and this one from Michigan. I like the little... De the, the deer hanging in there, too. And I love the little shoe. Shoe from Denmark. Or Holland. Sorry. Isn't that cute? Shoes are made for walking, and that's just what they'll do. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that one. I like that one. That's super cute. This one. Not that I'm like throwing the other ones away. I'm just like, what what's coming into the house? So that's pretty good. This is the stack that's gonna go on the wind chime. It's gonna make a lot of racket, and that's what's I'm gonna keep in the house. Okay. Have to leave for a few. Uh, I'm back. Oh, okay. Um, welcome back. Welcome back. We were just going through some of the spoons. So, like I said, that I know that's not all of them. I know there was like racks and racks, and racks of them. <laughs> like a lot. Like a, uh, it's put a little squish this glue in. Hi, Lorlin. These are just beautiful. So nice to display them. My mother has a collection from U.S. United States, and they visit. Sorry, from U.S. States that they visited for my father's World War II Navy reunions. She has them on a wooden rack. Yeah, there's so many that are on beautiful racks. Yeah, I, I just, I'm like, I don't really, that's not really my thing to do with them, but I know she would uh, like it if I just did something with them. And it is very, very windy here. I understand that. So they're not gonna be out in the complete direct wind. We have like a lean to here that's got like slits through the board. So the wind does go through it anyway. So it'll be just a gentle little breeze and it'll be right in the, the lean to right there where I can hear it. So yeah, it'll be nice. Okay, this did not want to twist over. Okay, we just want a little dab. Little dab will do ya. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, she's in good spirits. Thing. I think they had to say something about all the rumors. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What did I miss? I'm so confused. Okay, what did I miss? Somebody fill me in. Mom had a bunch of those Swarovski crystals. Little animal. Yes! Um, what was the other... <sighs> They were like little porcelain dolls and they had like little angels. They look like the chubby angels or something like that. Anybody know what I'm talking about? They were like really softly painted colors, like pastelsies and very gentle. And yeah, she, I think she had a few of those. I think I might have remembered getting one or two. Yeah, this actually fits perfectly in here, so that's where it's got to go. Okay, cool. Squish it. Fresh, yeah, there we go. Thank you, Whiskey Sarcasm. Precious moments. Yeah, I, I knew if somebody said something, I would. Yeah, she had a few of those, too. Mostly, like, little prairie with wings and stuff like that. I think she was trying to, you know, save us. <laughs> Princess Kate, oh, she's being treated for 
Even if they're cancer. Oh, sugar plums. Thank you. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah, the little cute little figurines. Yeah, she had a few of those, too. So, yeah. not, not a lot. I mean, there was, I know there was a ring that we saved up for to get for her. It was one of the Christmases. So I don't remember what it was. And it had all her birthstones on it. So that was really pretty. Sorry. This will be an emotional day for me. <laughs> Hummel? I may, may, that may have been the designer. I'm not sure. I just remember the precious moments, though. That, that for there. Oh, I didn't know that. I, didn't know. I, I had a feeling something was up because a lot had been in the news lately uh, about the royal family. Okay, so that's where it came, all this stuff came in. So I'm going to put what is going to go back into the house or make something for the house. Just, it won't be today. Okay. And I have some wood little bits here. Let's go over to this. I've got some wood bits. I've got some macrame. I've got wire galore. I've got duct tape just in case. Uh, I have a nice big ring, a uh, ring here if I want to loop everything up into whatever I can hang it up somewhere. I've got wire cutters, medium little pliers, regular pliers, <coughs> some beads, um, a green. Oh, hello. Oops, I must have hit that button. Oopsies. <laughs> uh, a green heart because my mom's favorite color was green. And it's a little button, so we'll put that in there somewhere. Uh, and this is my really big hoop I'm going to put it all on because I knew I'd have lots of these. <laughs> so what my idea was, was take it and wrap the one side, hopefully not make it too, too heavy. Actually, you know what? Feeling the way it is, I think I'm going to do it the double. Okay. And then just wrap around. Uh, to me, this is a, a $7 uh, hoop to, to play with. And I think where I don't wrap with where the wire is hanging down, I might choose to weave in around this black leather. So. <laughs> hey, Jiraja, spoons, pliers, handcuffs. What another is going on over here? <laughs> Hi, Jiraja, how you doing? <laughs> We're going through some of the my, uh, mom's spoons. We're going to make a wind chime. We're going to make wind chime today. I've never made one of these. Uh, and here is my awesome sketch. You like it? I even put musical notes. Okay? I, th I think we can achieve that. That's, that's the artist in me. How many had spoon rings? Uh, <laughs> I know, 10 out of 10 sketch, right? <laughs> Thanks, Jiraja. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> You can loosely wrap the wire to make it sturdier. Loosely wrap the wire to, oh, around it? Well, I figure whatever's gonna be wrapped holding it, you know, maybe, I don't know whether we should space it out evenly. Was that a good idea? So if we did it like a, uh, a, 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 what do you call it, a dangle? A spoon dangle, whatever? Like a dangle every, like, three inches or something? Duh, 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 duh. Is that too much, too little? I don't know, I've never made one. I had a cereal spoon ring and spoon bracelet on my great aunt gave me when I was a teenager. They're beautiful. Really? I've never had it. I don't even think I've seen them. I had spoon rings. Oh, like, uh, like they bent the spoon to, and made a ring? I think I saw that was an option to do with the spoons, so... Duct tape is good for everything, just as we I know, this is my favorite dude, is a duct tape and uh, crazy glue, right? I had a moon, I had a moon ring too. <laughs> it was usually purple all the time. <laughs> Hummel does precious, but okay, okay, there we go, there we go. Oh, what's what would swing better? I missed that. Uh, try to straighten out the lifter just before putting it in the center, it will swing better. Okay, try to straighten out the lifter. First, before putting it in the center, it will swing better. I'll have, to, I'll have to think about that. And then there's always Lardo porcelain collection. Well, there's so many porcelain collections, right? Hoop around the inner ring of hoop. S 
so my original idea was to wire it up on the inner one and then like secure it with the slip over top. That was what my, my inner idea was. And then to tighten it up and then use the ropey rope around in the bits of, bits of pieces, right? So. <clears throat> Measure the circumstance and divide. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking about doing. I have my pencil. <laughs> I have my pencil. I'm ready to go. <laughs> I think it's 14 inches. It should be 14 inches. That's what the sticker said. And the sticker never lies. It lied. No, it didn't. I have a silver spoon handle and earrings from Williamsburg. Really? I'll have to look at that. Look at that. That's <laughs> 13 and 7 <laughs> Taradra, Tara over on Twitch, he's super duper good at math. He was asking somebody to help him in his chat a couple weeks ago, and I was like all at the ready with my pen and piece of paper. Just like, I, I got this, and then they all figured it out before me, so. <laughs> times D. <laughs> Pi times the diameter. 3.77. There's lots of sevens going on. <laughs> yeah, I think we just kind of do a little even spacing. Looks like it's about, I don't know, four inches apart-ish. So, you know. 3.14. Okay, not even a seven involved. <laughs> I must be ready for something else. <laughs> Janice saves the day. <laughs> like, don't you worry, Lorlin. I got this. <laughs> I got the maths. Yeah, it should allow for quite a little bit of dangles. One, hold on, let's... Twelve, twelve dangles. We could do more if we wanted. Okay, so we got our wire here. I knew it was going to be a while to go through the spoons itself. Okay. And this is like some lightweight stuff, but still should be strong enough. And I've got the um, knitting needle to like to wrap around so I get some little circles and stuff like that. A cherry pies are circular, not square. What did I say square? Huh? Did I say squared? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Words are hard today, apparently. Okay, I was going to say, I know there's a start here somewhere. Let's 
spoons and forks in between your larger ones? Yeah, there we go. That's a good idea. <laughs> 22. <laughs> exactly right. Um, okay. Up to text and walk camp watching out for vehicles at the same time. <laughs> yeah, you be careful, Miss Alice, and safety first. Safety, safety first. Okay, just kind of, oops, here, let's go main and desk here. Just kind of wrap it around in a few spots. Okay, I, yeah, I wasn't, there was no plan to drill this at all. Okay. Like some of these are silver and, and not silver. Okay. How long should they be? Has anybody made a wind chime? I'm on my way home from visiting my mom for a bit. Oh, nice. Your craft is simple life. Thanks for hanging out. I'm a spoony kind of day. It's snowy here. Enough. It was snowed last night and it was dusty all over the place. Hold on, let's see what's outside. Uh, just windy as all heck. Just windy as all heck. Okay, let's, uh, let's do this. Oops. Yeah, varying lengths, right? Okay, I was just trying to do a little swirly whirl here. Oops, sorry, back to in here. Do a little curly whirl. I'm going to add a little bead. some more. Okay. Then we can take that and then hang it like that. Oh, let's go. So you guys can still see that, right? Yeah, different different lengths and do a couple like, you know, just kind of fill it up a little bit all the way around. You know, can you can even add more onto like, you know, on here. I can I can like weave this guy, little guy on, right? Right. Like I said, then we can seal it up, give it at least two times around. Okay. Start. So start. Okay. Let's do some more. Finally had to order the manual for the baby lock doesn't support the any lock. Oh, yeah, I found out um, the Janome 15,000 is um, uh, uh, discontinued. I was like quite disappointed. Yeah, you go 18 to 24. Yeah. Okay. With extra little bits. Well, cheers, everybody. I made simple wind chimes as a kid uh, on a wire hanger. There we go. <laughs> Start at seven inches, go to whatever length it feels. There, there we go. That's a good idea. Uh, 
and hugs to you all. Hey, Stephanie Harris, how you doing today? Happy to see you. What's going on? We're doing some fun stuff with my mom's old uh, spoons, our collection. So, well, we're celebrating. We're celebrating her today, and and the and the birth of our son Marcus. This one is from Mexico. Oops, get back under here. Hold up for a second. Stay there. Good you nobody's here. I gotta like, poke an eye out or something, man. Look at gravy. Okay. Wind chimes, yeah? Cool. Fourteen ninety nine plus five shipping handling. Oh my goodness, really? Well, I guess you get it. But I thought maybe there might have been something to download. You know, at least you could kind of get what you were looking for, specifically. Oh, I kind of like that. It wing it up against the... There. All right, so there's that one. Let's, let's do some more curly, whirly bits. One of these funky little spoons here. It's missing something. Put it there. And maybe a bead or two. Your hoop is so big you can weave wire across the top to add some in the middle. Yes, yeah, I was thinking about doing like a little lattice so I can put my my pie server down the center so it can be the dingy dong. The dingy dong. And it, I'm using something that I, it's been in the box for three years. I'm like, I need to do something with this. What can we do? And I've actually thought about doing a wind chime a long time ago. Because it's one of the things I said would be so nice here, but then when you realize how flippin' windy it is <laughs> all the dark time, <laughs> maybe not. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'll go like that. Yeah, let's put the lid back on those, just because I know I'll hit them. That was the cheapest, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, things are not... Uh, cheap anymore. Not that I think they ever really were, but you know. Oh, let's see here. What do we want? What do we want? Let's take Alberta and weave you in Alberta. Okay, and I'm actually going to go straight up through that little tiny hole at the top. Ha 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 ha. And then that's actually going to help lock it into place. It is. It is. It is. Edmonton. Edmonton, Alberta. Okay. So, yeah. Let's try and place them like opposite each other and, and then we can figure out what we're doing, you know. Eventually, I may I may shorten some. Right now, we'll just do like a little. Okay, so far. It's my halo, and I got really long hot side here. <laughs> hey, Carrie! After six months, I'm finally back with my quilt buddies. Yay! Welcome back. We're making a uh, a wind chime out of some of my mom's uh, spoons. That's what we're doing. And we're having fun. Well, I am. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> I would hope you guys are, but you know, if you're not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, Northwest Territories. Yeah, let's do that one. I missed you too. Mr. Pretty Name in the chat. <clears throat> 
Uh, you hope this, oh yeah, okay, there we go. So I heard, I saw a great idea. I was like, what? What's a great idea? <laughs> Where are you going? Get back here. Okay, so that. Let's do this cute little one right here. It's a little fork. May the fork be with you. And let's do this little one right here. And then we will thread through. You're basting EPP pieces? Oh, nice. Nice. Excellent. You should, um, if, you, if you're not familiar with Twitch, it's another streaming platform. It's called Twitch TV. Um, and uh, Craft to Simple Life is over there. She does some streams over there. And she's uh, working on her uh, EPP uh, project. She's been working on for, I think she said four years, if I remember correctly. And it, it's a gorgeous project. It's a gorgeous project. Okay, trying to have these over here. Like I said, I'll probably be adjusting some of these on the heights, but I'd rather have it too long than too short. That's what she said. <laughs> Oops. It is so pretty, right? Risky, sir. Whiskey, risky. Risky, sorry, sorry, sorry. Whiskey, sarcasm. It is beautiful, right? <laughs> I'm actually loving it, really loving it, watching it come. Well, she, she talked about it for a few years, and I'm like, I really wish I could see what she's, you know, what she's doing, right? And it's so nice to actually be able to see it now, right? Like to be able to see her putting it together and, and stitching it and having fun chatting with people and getting to know a community. I'm not doing anything but watching. Had a busy day at work. Just chilling out. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm channeling my mother. She was a naughty little woman. <laughs> she used to pinch the waiter's bums in the restaurants. She was a she was naughty. But she was so darn cute. They didn't care. They didn't care. I'm putting that rough one back there. There. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, sorry. Okay, this one said that was the Mallorca. That one, yes. Okay, that one was there. Let's. She always wanted to travel to Spain, so we'll put the one with her birthstone on that one. Let's add. Let's add. Let's add something. Let's do. I'm gonna have a. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Uh, finish the mug rugs for friends and decide to piddle in the. Don't piddle in the sponge. I mean, on the. <laughs> need to quilt. A combined fabric, so I don't have to put it away. <laughs> that is that is the problem. Yes, that is one of the problems. Okay, we'll put a little, a little colorful bead, a little wood bead, a little colorful. Why? Why not? Because I can. Actually, what let's do with this. And that way it stays upright. Okay. Spain was lovely. I bet. I, it's, it seems like a, a country that I, I would like to go to. Okay, what did I do with the one? There, oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where is it? Okay, we'll do another little loop to kind of hold that in place. Stretch this up a bit. Yeah, so far Marcus has had a really good birthday. So 
which is awesome. I made him some spring rolls for breakfast. Made sure to put some uh, hot dogs on for him for lunch because I wasn't sure his plan. We he did have leftover dinner last night too if he wanted, so I didn't want to just completely uh, derail. Um, and uh, yeah, and then we're having I'm making him quesadillas. Or Pop and I are actually going to make him quesadillas. And Ken said he would help. He would take off early and help. I'm like nice. I'll take that. So, yes. So, so far, it has been a good day. Uh, Heritage Park. Yes. Let's go out to Heritage Park, shall we? I'm pretty sure one of our cousins got married there. Jingly jangling. It's already making a lovely tune. There. Ding, 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 ding. Look at it. It's already making noise. Mm, uh, the saying is like mother, like daughter. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. I'm so bad too. And I, I, and if you guys don't know the story of how I met Pop, it just it goes to show right there. So, okay. Just stay. Just slow your roll, okay? Calm down. <sighs> Sophie's like the drama around this place. Yeah, I liked your cute little mug rugs, and this, this sloth was adorable. My goodness, totally adorable. What's this one here? Prince Edward Island, there we go. I wonder how many times you're going to move things around. What do you mean, move things around? What do you mean, Jelly Bean? A little crackling out the campsite. All right. Cracking out the campsite. New zoning stuff. Oh, okay. You're bringing it out. Nice. Nice. Excellent. Crafting together today. Making a mess in a very fun way. <laughs> uh, my sister Elizabeth, who dealt with um, my mom's passing and stuff, and everything else, I had to deal with it. She asked if there was anything we wanted, like uh, uh, jewelry-wise. And my mom wore uh, pretty much uh, gold, but it had to be like the good gold, like 14 or something, or 24 or something like that. And I can't have gold. I'm only uh, just white gold or sterling silver. So I said, unless there's something that she specifically wanted to give to Marcus, I'd just give the rest to the girls, like, you know. But I'm glad we have the spoons. I'll take the spoons. The spoons are fun. Drive home, no YouTube, and drive. Okay, take care. Take care there, Randy. 
a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate you very much. Deanna Joel. Hands on the wheel. This is gonna have to get to it, like a place of where how am I how am I holding this up? <laughs> <laughs> but so far it's coming together. It looks good. It won't take too long. Cheers, 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 everybody. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of make a bunch more, and then we'll go and we'll hang them all up. Let's, uh, let's do the wire on the pie holder. I don't really want to break that off. So let's put the wire in between here if we can. Maybe not. That should be like, I don't know, we'll just, we'll leave a length on it so it's big enough, just in case. I'll wrap it somewhere in between. Okay. I'm trying to think if I wanted to add anything else onto that. Maybe just the heftier one here. Get out that there as well. I uh, can move things to my house, then I wouldn't have to keep moving them. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Tracy Albert is in Canada. She's in Ontario, which is one of these in here somewhere. Or we did already. Oh, no, here it is. Oh, no, that's Crocus, Manitoba. Uh, oh, there's one of them in here. Maybe this one. Yeah. <laughs> You like it? Thanks, June Hansen. Well, I think my mom would like it, and that's really, you know, I'm having fun, and then she'd, she'd just be busy, happy I kept myself out of trouble for like 20 minutes. <laughs> yep, she would. <laughs> she'd appreciate that I was quiet. <laughs> always as a kid. <laughs> Here's the uh, Universal Studios uh, California one there, Miss Allison. That's so pretty. It's got some nice weight to it, too. So It's a, it's a, it's a jingle jungle jungle, too. Uh, here, let's actually put this through here. Do like a little weave. Weave it. We'll weave it be. dun 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 Weave it be. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, truly, yeah, I realize this is Ontario there. Uh, that's a cactus. Uh, I, was trying to make, I might have already loaded her up. Might have been one of the first ones I loaded up already. Let's tuck this. Why, right? 
She would have been just happy I kept myself out of trouble for at least 20 minutes. I'm trying to figure out if she got the most phone calls from the teachers and principal from me or my other siblings. <laughs> there we go. Let's add a little... Let's do... Let's do some angled... Of being circular. Hmm. Maybe it's one now. It's not quite what I wanted to do. <laughs> eh. Oops. Come on. I guess I wove it, wove it too tight. There we go. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops. Need to find a scale to shape again but not trying to be so it's just that we can't pull it out there we go hmm, kind of cute there we go I love Canada I love Canada do, 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 do. put another cheese curd on the poutine baby I love Canada Put another cheese curd on the poutine, baby. <laughs> That's how we sing it here. <laughs> uh, now, maybe just chatty. <laughs> and it, it didn't matter if I was by myself or <laughs> had puppets. <laughs> I had things. <laughs> poutine, baby. Exactly. <laughs> Do 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 do. <laughs> Surely no phone calls. Well, yeah, there was many. <laughs> uh, you you do realize your daughter is like blah 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 or. <laughs> Your your kid wore just uh, leotards to school today. <laughs> I thought they were like pants. <laughs> Hello, Miss Gwenny. Uh, we lived in a very small town. Teachers didn't phone, just chatted at grocery store, etc. So parents always knew how their kids were doing or not doing. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> What's this one here? This one was uh, Toronto. Jana. That's a pretty one. All the way from Toronto. You can always tell the people who are from there and the probably people who are not. That's what we, we were discussing that on the, the Zoom chat the other day. <laughs> people from there call it Toronto. People not from there call it Toronto. <laughs> it was cute. I thought it was funny. That's so true. Uh, we weren't allowed to wear pants to school. I'm not sure it was a school rule. Just parents didn't send girls uh, out in pants in those days. No, I guess not. It was mostly just skirts, right? Skirts and dresses. Skirts and dresses. Okay, we've got some Colorado. Yeah, the continental state. There we go. Centennial state. Yeah, there we go. The small, the writing is very small. Up that way. Sorry, he's cutting up leftover chicken for a chicken salad. Oh, chicken salad sandwiches. Nice. Wanted to say I love the welcoming students into my classroom with ripped jeans telling them I could fix those. I have batches. 
<laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I remember being on crossing guard one day and one of the kids said to me, um, could you please tell my grandma my pants don't need to be fixing? I bought them this way. And they were like, they were just, the grandma was just flabbergasted. Like the kids spent like $75 on a pair of jeans that like were just three quarters there. <laughs> I go, that's just the trend now. That's the trend now. <laughs> Uh, I'm trying to grab my granddaughter from school. See you tomorrow. Okay, take care. See you later, alligator. And leftover chicken sounds good. Uh, I put salmon, uh, salmon on uh, the puffed grains, the brogies. That was pretty good. I put that. That was my my snack sore. I shared that a bit with Pop, and then Pop had hot dogs later. So. But, uh, Do, 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 do. Have fun, have fun, Suzanne. Let's see. Let's go. Let's go do the Expo Expo eighty six. Like I said, I went there. This the spoon that I got her way back when. A long, long time ago. Started teaching kids we were wearing uh, price tags hanging from their hats. Real stylish. <laughs> what the heck? Who would ever imagine that ripped jeans would be? Yeah, no kidding, right? And and for people to pay so much for them. That was what flabbergasted me the most. Was like, what the heck? You paid what for that? Because even some guy, um, he came to me, he goes, I don't know what's up with these pants nowadays, but I can't find any jeans that are actually just normal jeans. And I like, that's why I was like, okay, go to Mark's work warehouse, go to, you know, the, like the workman's place, right? Those sorts of places. I said, because if you're going into the mall, you're not going to find it. <laughs> Nobody, nope, nope. So let's, let's go fly a kite. Actually, maybe we'll try this size. Up to the highest heights. Why don't we go fly a kite? Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Let's put, can I wipe that through here? Is it going to fit? Oh, well, there we go. A little green heart for my mom. Okay, let's here. And hopefully, uh, oh, sometimes you guys might be able to hear this on stream. So, oh, here's the Jamaica one. Let's put the Jamaica one up here. I like that. That's a cute one. It's kind of a little goopy with the glue, but. Still cute. <clears throat> I just thought it was really nice of those people who traveled because she she didn't travel a lot. I mean, the only place I really know for her to went like beyond the can, uh, Canadian borders was um, Vegas, and that was like an eighty eight, eighty nine maybe. So, because I was still I was just a kid. Lake Louise, Alberta. When I was younger, uh, are your jeans were ripped? You would just go, yeah, oh yeah, or you would put something on them, like a patch, right? It usually was a corduroy patch. 
to go on your jeans. <laughs> Don't you remember that? Don't you remember the corduroy patch? <laughs> or the denim patch on the corduroys? <laughs> White Rock BC. Cool. Good thing I got lots of wire. It's okay, we're almost done anyways. This part. one. This one was Brixham. Did we find out where Brixham was? B-R-I-X-H-A-M? Did we find out where that was? B-R-I-X-H-A-M. It looks like it's got like a, a horse or I don't know. Be a horse or a dragon? Uh, the fabric was flawed, so I sewed applique over each hole. Kid loved it and wanted to wash more often. <laughs> more often <yeah. laughs> hey, well, there you go. Now you know your work is done. <laughs> They're all willing to do that. It sounds like it kind of does sound like the UK, doesn't it? And it, it's sturdily made. It's got little tiny grapes engraved on it, too. Let's see if I can see if it'll focus there for you guys. Come on. There we go. B R A X H A M. And it's got some pretty detail. Oops. Lost the focus. There we go. Yeah, see, so read down into the spoon self, right? Town in Devon, England. Oh, really? Nice. Awesome. There we go. Devon, England's getting on the wood chime. Uh, and this one was made in Holland. E. P. Brass. E. P. Brass? E. Or, or P. Brass? W. 26. Whatever that means. Yeah. Merry Christmas. 19... Nineteen eighty one. I would have been ten. It's got a little candle and a wreath. That is very pretty on the detail too. Yeah, Merry Christmas. On the top it says nineteen eighty one. The very top there. B R A X. I'll try here. Yeah, B R A X. Oh bricks oh maybe. Yeah, B R I X. Sorry. No no, I said it wrong. It's B R I X. I apologize. I'm sorry. My my bad. No, it was I X. You were right. You were right the first time. Sorry. Sorry. Is that I? Close the door. It's cold outside. Sorry. It's I. Right. Now, who can tell me what movie that's from? My mom had a three inch wide embroidery trim on my jean legs because it grew too fast. I always had high water pants. <laughs> Where's the flood, Lois? <laughs> <coughs> Heard that a time or two in my life. Not the lowest part, but you know. <laughs> Whiskey sarcasm says their grandparents used to do that. <laughs> Small world, right? Small world. Uh, oh, here, let's put that there. <coughs> All right, cheers, everybody. Cheers, cheers, cheers to you and yours. Thanks for hanging out with me today. We're wishing Marcus a happy birthday. And we're using uh, the spoons that my sister Elizabeth sent to me. Uh, a good majority of them. Anyways, we're using some of them to make a wooden chime.
to hang out in the lean-to part uh, next to the shop so I can hear it when the wind blows and it won't blow away and end up all the way in New Glasgow. Um, and unfortunately, she also passed away today on our son's birthday four years ago. So it has been a healing and a dealing process. But we try and make it as happy as possible because it was a day of joy for us, for our son. This one is really pretty. I like this one. It's got the rose on it. Let's try. that pretty? Little Alberta rose. But just even the details just down on the stem, right? Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Lovely. Hey, so in Quilt with April, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Welcome to the chat. Happy to say to play on YouTube. Thought I'd check your live and oh, well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. How's it going for you over there on the YouTube side? There, April. How's it going? Are you are you finding things? Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Seattle. Seattle, Washington. Anybody want to go on a boat ride? Let's go to Seattle. <laughs> I think I had the same spoon. Yeah, maybe, maybe. They, they definitely were out there, right? So. We got some from Mexico. Don't you know we want to go to Mexico? Actually, uh, Pop and I had our uh, honeymoon in Mexico. <clears throat> Cancun. This one had that rose on it. It says mother on it. Thought that was really nice. It's very detailed with the that rose. Look at that. Look at that. How popped out that rose is. And I would say, is this uh, pleated? Gazelle gold plated steel. Okay. So gold plated steel. It looks like something might have been in that center of that rose at some point. I I don't know what. I, I, I can't imagine what it might have been. But I'll put some uh, some wedding bells right there too. Why not? Actually, let's let's put a little swirl in it. Aruba, Jamaica. Ooh, I want to take it. <laughs> Bermuda. Bahama, come on, pretty mama. <laughs> Key Lago, Montego, baby, why don't we go? Down to Kokomo. Here, actually, well, let's put the praying hands with the mother. There we go. Because she was definitely prayed for us. <laughs> there we go. What's this one here? Canada. And another one with the wedding bells. We can put that off to the side. Nine months and how many years ago? Oh, what, for, for Munchkin? <laughs> well, he was the honeymoon surprise, so you figure it out. <laughs> we got married July of 95. He came along March of '96. <laughs> and it's it's not rocket science. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, this one. Manitoba, of course. Um, put a little swiggly wiggly. Uh, probably for us. <laughs> She's praying for us. <laughs> Yeah, some some people may think I'm a little crazy, but I I did when um when my um intestines decided to pop two holes in it last year, and I just about died. I saw my mother and my mother-in-law just before I went in for surgery, so it was that was a little uh, weird and um, interesting all at the same time. That was his Canada. They both say Manitoba. So let's get them both on here. Okay. Yeah, it was a, it was a good fun time. Uh, you could ask craft a simple life. <laughs> Yeah, not. <clears throat> All right, I think uh, we only got four here. Let's see what we have left over after we attach all of them to the main. Yeah, I was. Uh, I got really sick last year, uh, whiskey sarcasm, and we couldn't figure out what it was. You know, I, I stopped doing streams. Uh, actually, it was after the one the four, one of the February um, twelve hour. I I went straight downhill right after that. Like sad, sad and fast and furious, <clears throat> and then. I didn't do any streams, no videos, no nothing, and uh, was uh, trying to get tests for all sorts of ins and outs and scans and doodads and so on and so forth, trying to figure out what was going on with me. Um, ended up losing like 40 pounds in like six weeks, and then uh, I had finally got a colonoscopy, and five days later my bowel burst in two spots, so good times. <laughs> yeah. And unfortunately, it was 36 hours before, 32 hours before they could actually get to surgery. So. so it was a bit tough. But I'm here now. Can't stop me now. Okay, now. Do, do. And lots of people have lots of close calls in their life. So I'm like a cat. Oops, hold on. Where are we here? I've got a few. Oh, good gravy. Come here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, this is where I need like 12 hands. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe I take these off, do the reinforcings. Cause trying to do the reinforcings with all the doodads on you know what i mean so uh, i think that might be a better idea ah uh, thank you thank you April. It, it's been a journey let me tell you uh, well yeah like i say in finding out you have crohn's disease it puts a whole other spin on things right so and that's why i had to go every eight weeks for infusions Thrilled beyond measure, as you can tell. But as the song says, alive and kicking. Oh right. uh, no, I want to use I want to use this hoop. I want to use the big hoop because I've got a bigger one for doing the like hand stitching, uh, the quilts and stuff like that. But this one. I, I very rarely use so and I would like to I would like to use this one because it's a nice big one. I like a nice big one. I like a nice big one. Okay. But I will do those reinforcing uh, wire bits for sure. For sure. Because <clears throat> that's smart. Smart, smart, smart. I just came to to you to show the you are watching. 
are watching over here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, they came to, okay, so you're talking about the, the hospital, yeah. That was a little, like, freaky beans, though. Like, I was like, what the heck is going on? And I've only told a few people about that, that, that adventure. I think this needs to be tougher wire, but... Hello. <laughs> I had to think back of what I said. <laughs> Sometimes it's just like, you know, just goes. I say, I, I, I'm, I'm channeling my mother. I gotta be. <laughs> That's what you said, right, Tina? Yeah. Uh, we have a wedding uh, in the historic cottage tomorrow. Historic cottage tomorrow. And there is a Penhe, Penhe native gathering at the other campground. I will have plenty for Foss. Yes! That's awesome. I would love to. I, I bet you that their music is going to be amazing. That is going to be awesome. Reminds me of tambourine. Oh, don't blame me, Tracy Albert. Don't blame me. <laughs> I didn't think that thought for you. You thought that thunk for you. I think my own thoughts, <laughs> and even those, <laughs> are questionable. <laughs> Under, over, under, under, over, over, under, under, over. There we go. Add the support. So what's everybody else doing for uh, Din Din's tonight? You know, I'm making Marcus's uh, chicken quesadillas for his birthday. So what's everybody else doing? What's for dinner tonight? I might, if I asked nicely, get a piece of cheesecake. <laughs> I asked if I could have a cookie at lunchtime, and he said yes. So. Pizza. Mmm. Is that a homemade pizza or a takeaway pizza? Or a pop in the oven freezeoid pizza. Uh, hi, I'm survived 100 pounds of rhino saying, <laughs> giving me no needle. <laughs> oh. Poor Marshall, getting called a rhino. Okay. Here's our center. This has literally all the space in the world to kind of hang, so. I think it's what, about 12, 13 feet high in there. Okay, so let's just do that temporary in the center. Okay. And then we'll add our bits around. See how far that gets us. Oh, loaded baked potato. 
We had pierogies last night for dinner too, or with dinner, not for dinner. Um, and uh, yeah, they were pretty good too. Only had four though. I'm trying to limit myself. I only made about that much for the boys too. Kind of driving me nuts with that right there. Okay, let's try and even them out. <laughs> All the others I can't see. <laughs> All the homies. All the homies around the world, throw your hands up. Hello, you. Come on. How'd you get hooked? Oh, because you're over on top. That's why. Okay, listen. Listen, we only went to the party. Cut your floss yesterday. Nice. Starting with my huge batch. Or huge, sorry, huge stitch on Monday. That's the, um, hold on. Heaven and Earth designs the, the big Santa one, right? Oh, I have to unwind this one. Put it down here. Let's, let's leave that one from now. The long ones. Okay. Deep concentration going on here. One more. Take a lid in. Gonna have to change that one though.
ting. I know you can just hear a little bit. But just think how much it's going to pretty little noise. Okay, this should kind of come up higher, so kind of ting tang tongs in between them all, right? So. That's why we left this one long. Ding, ding. Hmm. This is where, like another hand would come in handy. See, I'm all out that were designed incorrectly. We all need a third hand. Telling you. Kind of like there, right? I think she'd be happy. Obviously, there's some wonky ones kind of aimed here, weird, but you know, there we go. I think she'd be happy they weren't sitting in the bucket for another three years and they were doing something. And like I said, every time I hear them go ching chang chong in the in the wind, I will think of her. Sounds kind of cool to me. Sounds unique. Okay, I do have like four more spoons if I feel like I need to shift things around and make another one, like to add in there, but I'm really quite happy with this so far. Now, how, 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 how am I going to hang it up? <laughs> and then, of course, I have this to scoot over top and then seal it all up, right? So, leave it to dangle longer? You think so? Okay. Okay, I'll dangle. I'll dangle longer. You mean like to hit maybe the bottom? Got a couple of beads and it's got a couple of this. Oh yeah, those there's a couple of little looser ones here that we may have to rewire. But I think the whole jivvy jivvy of it is pretty cool. Hmm, I like it. And then we'll just wrap a little bit of this all the way around. But my arm's tired, so <laughs> uh, who's who's holding on to this till tomorrow? You let me a hand. <laughs> I'm looking for a hand. I swear, just one like right here. We just need like one right in the center, right? Because it holds the baby as you're going to let for the diapers. It holds the grocery bag as you go for the keys or it could be the keys. You know what I mean? It could be the remote when your hands are, you know, and the, the, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, third hand, third hand. That's all we need. Could be a lefty or righty. I'm really not picky. Because <laughs> the spoons continue to hit the other. Okay, okay. So yeah, there we go. Because you have that other spencer too. I really like it. It's colorful. It's bright. It's bright. We've all got a few loose wires. <laughs> Carrie. <laughs> okay, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna stick this. Hold on a second there. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. What to do, what to do. <laughs> Don't know where to put it. <laughs> Thanks, Lady Lee on uh, kick there. Thank you so much. Yeah, I don't know. I can't figure out where to put it, though. <laughs> okay, does anybody have any questions? Okay. Yeah, just wrap that there and a few little finishing touches, and it's good to go. That's awesome. I'm happy with it. Those are little tweaky things. Yeah, I'll try and get it finished um, by tomorrow's stream. It, it's kind of actually just the weight of the wire and the thing is actually kind of propped up on the couch there. It's worked out so far. Right? <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Eight arms like octopuses. <laughs> I just, just, just the, the one, just the little third hand. That's all we need. Okay, I made a mess and I still have more spoons that I can make something for the inside of the house. Some lovely ones here, some very beautiful, like really stunning ones. 
And this is what I have some to wrap around the, the two together to keep it all nice and pretty too. It's like a little leather. So, there's a couple here. It's a cute and neat one. So I found a flat one, flat bottom one. Like a little spreader, but resting your chopsticks on. And of course, we have a little shoe and the pineapple, Linda Lindsay. We have the pineapple. <laughs> Not once, but twice. <laughs> we got a few of those. Okay, does anybody have any questions? I'll put those in there too. Like I said, I have a few more to play with. I could play with those ones, I know, if I wanted to. Okay. Glad to put the buttons on. Glad to put some beads on. A little mix of everything. Mm -mm. Oh, 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 right there. Wait, I'll check my airplane tickets. <laughs> no, I like it. I really do. <laughs> Pop says pineapple is okay. Just not on pizza. Exactly, right? Exactly. He does. He's fine with the pineapple upside down cake. Well, maybe not now, but he was. Hey, cool to Steffi Stitches. Thank you. Appreciate that. Um... Yeah, it's uh, it's our son's uh, son's birthday today, and so uh, I didn't get a chance to do a video. It just wasn't uh, a good week for getting all the stuff done last week. I was just really tired, and this week was infusion week, and yeah, so that's okay. So we did a, a stream today instead, working with some spoons of my mom's, making a nice little wind chime. So I hope so. Anyways, she passed away also four years ago today too. So. It was probably the worst birthday that Marcus probably could have had. <laughs> Pineapple spoons for Pops Workshop. Maybe. Maybe find something to hang it up on. <laughs> Would be neat. Keep the spoons around. There's a couple that I wouldn't mind hanging up in the house. So I just didn't know what to do with all of them. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do with all of them, right? <laughs> I'm just glad to see you guys, too. And our cute little painted hedgehog with their thread paint turned out really nice. Yep. And Marcus really liked his dragon for his birthday. The FPP dragon. So, and then the other one, where did I fall? Oh, it's over there. So. Mm. Yeah, lots of March babies. There's lots of March babies around there for sure. Yeah. People busy in the summertime. <laughs> Summer loving happens so fast. <laughs> Summer loving <laughs> having a blast. <laughs> okay, is there any questions? Other than that, we are going to work on a free project tomorrow from Northcott is using one of their panels, and we're going to make a cuddle quilt for one of Pop's co-workers um, to, uh, for a wedding gift. So, yeah. or be, we'll be there in, uh, the end of April in Ontario again. So, uh, we want to make sure we're not, uh, coming empty handed. We want to make sure we're coming with a wedding gift. So at least I do. <laughs> My birthday's on the 12th. It's terrific. Very nice. Welcome to the 50 club. The PJ stay on. <laughs> Yeah, I hear you. I used to always give uh, Marcus the day. If he wanted the day off of school, he didn't have to go. It was like one of those, if you don't want to, you don't have to, no matter what they're doing today, or unless you really want to go, you don't have to, right? We can stay home. We used to go out for breakfast or lunch or something or whatever. We always did something fun and uh, exciting. So, and uh, I made him a cheesecake yesterday. I made him shortbread cookies. So he's enjoyed the cookies today. He was very hummity hidey about having cheesecake for breakfast. He almost, he almost, but he chose the wiser choice. <laughs> Have some protein. <laughs> so, yeah. Are you going to be here tomorrow? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, we're going to have everybody. Should, uh, um, we might be able to get it in the one day, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how fast we can go. Because it's just a, it's a panel, but we are chopping up the panel. So, we're going to chop it. Chop, 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 chop. Um, I, think, I hope everybody has a fantastic day and thank you for joining me on a Friday that we don't normally stream. <laughs> um, we tried to get back to the videos, but it all depends on how I'm feeling and how Pop's feeling. So, you know, if you don't, if we don't do a video, then you'll probably see us for a live. All right. 
Unfortunately, it doesn't bring in as much revenue, but, uh, you know, something's better than nothing, right? So, yes, thank you. I promise to pass on all the happy birthday wishes to Marcus. I greatly appreciate it. Um, he, he's, he's really just got the three of us, you know, so it's nice to have all the happy birthday wishes from you guys. Obviously, Sister Lisa and Sister Elizabeth and, and, um, and Victoria. Victoria's already wished him a happy birthday and, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Have a great rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Whiskey Sarcasm. I appreciate that. He turns 26, 28, almost, I almost said 26. I'm like, no, he's 28 because we are having 29 wedding anniversary Canada Day. <laughs> he was a honeymoon surprise. Cancun, very fertile. Just so you know. <laughs> Watch the water. <laughs> More than just sharks in the water. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Yeah, and it's really nice that you guys do, you know, include him and, you know, wish him a happy birthday and stuff like that because it's really important. It's important to us as a family, right? Because we are the three amigos. It's always just been the three of us. Just the three of us. Um, okay, other than that, I'm going to go and zip to the store and go get some sour cream because he would like some sour cream with his quesadillas and anything else I can think of. And then I'm coming back home and making quesadillas because it is uh, 5 o'clock for me. Something like that. Almost 5 o'clock? Yeah, almost 5 o'clock. Because I am Atlantic. Mm, it was the tequila. Don't let it fool you. <laughs> Might have been that too. No, actually, I didn't drink tequila back then. What did I drink? I think I was a, a cooler. I drank coolers a lot. Oh, fantastic. Thank you, Lois. I didn't say anything just in case, you know, something happened. That'll be a nice surprise. That'll be a nice surprise. Mm -mm. Yes, definitely for the boys. And just let me know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'll be cool. Okay, all right. Big hugs, everybody. Uh, from the uh, supervisor. Oh, and the step stool. Yeah. She's making sure I'm, I'm getting all the stuff done and doing what I got to do. You guys, too, have a, rest of, a wonderful day of the rest of your day. <laughs> Happy weekend. <laughs> Words are hard sometimes, people. <laughs> Words are hard. Huh. Okay, thank you so much. See you later. Thanks for celebrating with me. See you soon. <laughs>